Cool. Very, very cool. Hi and welcome. I'm so excited that we're here and welcome to the vision board creation party. I know um, lots of people are out and about. I am recording this because that has been a quest. So I am recording this. My name is Holly Hireman and I am um, lead of Team Fit Finances. And the whole purpose of tonight is to get a vision for where we are going in the new year. So as you can see behind me, it's a completely blank slate, but I've got this idea from um, several other coaches in the network, as well as other coaches on our team who've been developing and creating these vision boards. I know that lots of people, um, you know, you may have done something like this in the past. I want to give you a little bit of background insight as to number one, like why, why we're doing this now. And number two, um, some things, I'm going to give you some pointers and some things that I think are really truly going to help you. And by the way, if you do have a vision board and you are on um, with us, then definitely would love to have you jump in. Hold on a second. I'm getting some messages about the Zoom link not working. So let me try. Let me paste this right now. One second. Let me just do this real quick, guys. I'm going to pause the recording. We're going to go. All right, good. Okay, thank you guys so much. Let's see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's so good to see you guys, everybody. I see that everybody's popping on, so it's great to be here. Um, oh, Jen needs the link, too. Okay, let me, I'll text it to her. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for doing that. I'm just excited to have you here. Okay, so let me give you a quick background on um myself okay I, uh, I i will tell you that i i have never personally done a vision board before now that's not to say that i don't put goals up and post them in places where i can see them um because i do do that but i've never actually done a vision board before and one of the main reasons is because i i'm more i, I guess I'm, i think more linear um but lots of people have been doing this lately and are talking about how incredibly powerful it is. We've talked about this in our mastermind. We have, I have a mastermind where I work with um, several coaches. Actually, we all work together. I don't work with them. We all work together. We mastermind, we brainstorm together. And so several of them have, have been working on their vision boards and it just really got me pumped and motivated and thinking, you know what? I really believe that there, there's something here, but I will say this. I just got off a mastermind with a, with the nine to 14 star diamonds. And one of the things that they talked about in that was vision boards are fabulous, but we need to have the actions to back them up, right? So, and I believe that that's probably, I know that that's the reason I've never created one before because I really like goal list, action item lists, and that's just, I'm just throwing that out there as a default. I always say that I'm not creative, but I, I actually am kind of creative. I do like to be creative. Um, so I, I just want to thank you guys for being part of this little experiment that I, I, I'm going to be going through as well. And I hope that you'll, we're going to be doing some too. So we're going to get going with this right away. I'm, let me open this up because I want to see everybody and we do have some examples on here as well. So first I'd love to start with Heather. Would you be willing and able to show us your examples? I'm going to pin your video. Okay. Do you see? Yes. Okay. So this is our very first, this is my husband, Ray, if you guys don't know Ray. And this Hi, is, <laughs> and that's my nephew talking over there. This is the very first time I ever did a vision board like you. I kind of thought, eh. Why? I, and I do the same thing with goals and all the things, but we were invited to a vision board party in 2018. So we went and we, this is what we made. I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of magazines. So what we did is ahead of time, we printed off from the internet, just um, some pictures that represented things that we wanted like this. Um, we want to remodel the kitchen and we wanted to travel and we were recently married and we wanted to try to have a baby and want it okay so <laughs> this is what i looked like about a year or so before i met ray and then this is before ray met me and so one of our goals is to get back to looking like that again thank you 
Um, so, and then up here I have, um, we had a total debt of $80,000 of school loans and credit card debt. And so our goal was to go from 80 to zero. I don't know how realistic it was to tackle that in one year, but here we are two, late, two years later and we've cut that in half. We have about $40,000 of debt now. So just because <laughs> you don't think you can accomplish it in one year, go ahead and put it on your dream board. Like this doesn't have to expire. So what we're gonna do this year when we make our dream board is they had a really good point today. He said, I'm not that person that I was then. I have new things, different things. I've grown. And so some of the things are going to carry over because we still want them. We still want to get out of debt and we haven't finished them yet, but other things are going to be brand new. So I'm, I'm really excited to make this tonight. Yay. Cool. I'm excited too. So this, this is fantastic. So I will say does anybody else, is anybody else on um, right now with us and they wanted to show your example? I see driving and moving and stuff like that. Did anybody else have an example they want to share? Not yet. Okay, cool. So we're going to get right into the meat of this. So here's kind of how it's going to work. And um, if you are busy, you know, doing, doing everything, like I said, it's, it is being recorded. I am going to put this in our Team Fit Finances Facebook group as well. Um, but I want you to kind of, you know, because I, to me, I don't know, I think, like I said, I think very linear. So I think having, if you're anything like me, you might need some guidelines, right? Because like, okay, what do you want to accomplish for 2020? So let me give you some things to springboard off of. If you're already like brainstorming and you're already figuring out, just go for it. You can ignore me, but I want to give you a couple of things to springboard off of so that you can go evaluate yourself, just a quick evaluation in your brain on a scale of one to 10. How content are you in that area? Just super fast. Don't overthink it. Just fast. Like scale yourself on that, on that, um, from one to 10. And then what, how can you make yourself better in that area? Okay. So I'm just going to list off. I think there's eight things on this list. And I've, I've heard this done in five. I've heard it done in 10, 11, 12, seven, whatever. But these are the eight that resonate the most with me. If you think of anything else, I kind of think everything, almost everything falls under one of these categories. So just do a quick rating. And then that will give you an idea of something that you can put on your vision board for 2020 on ways that you can improve. Okay. So the first one is family. Like how content are you with your family situation? Don't judge it too much. Just one to 10 quick. The next one is your friends. Okay. Your network, your friends. Next one is your romantic relationship. Now this does not mean that you have to have one because there have been points, <laughs> there've been times in my life when I was not in a romantic relationship and I was like a 10 perfectly satisfied with that. Do you know what I'm saying? So whatever that is for you, because family and romantic partner, a lot of times that falls into two different categories. You can clump it into one if you, if you so desire. The next one is your health. How happy are you currently with your health? Scale of one to 10, super fast. The next one is your finances. How happy are you right now? Next, your purpose. Like what, like what you feel like you are, you are serving your life's purpose. This one was the hardest one for me, by the way, to come, to come by. And I'm still, I still struggle with it from day to day. Um, so how content are you with your purpose right now? The next one, fun, hobbies, joy. So just pure fun, pure joy. Anything that doesn't really relate to anything else except for it freaking makes you smile, makes you happy. Next is your spirituality, your spiritual life. I had on here free time, but I really think that that goes in with fun and hobbies too, right? So next to each of those, um, if you scored, I would say a six or under, I would say set a goal for yourself. And don't, like I said, don't overthink it, but what would take that six to an eight or a nine? So for instance, um, all, several years ago, the first time I did this, I scored a one in the fun category, <laughs> one. <laughs> and years past, I have scored very low in the friend category. 
And that was honestly because it, I, I was working so much, right? I was working so much and I didn't have any fun and I didn't have a lot of that. You know what I mean? So, um, that was an area that I was like, I need to actually make a point. So one of the goals that I set myself set for myself in the friend category was to make a point to see, you know, each of my best friends at least once a month. And so like, that's my goal. And that still is my goal. And it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle when you have like a life and a business and kids and all that stuff. So, um, so what is a quick obtainable goal that you can set for yourself that will help to bring that from a six or below to like an eight or a nine in your mind? Just jot a couple down real quick. And that is to say, of course, if you haven't done a lot of like, you know, ahead of time, you know, research, this is just going to help you kind of create some goals. And there's even stuff here that I, that I, I have more in here and I'm going to put it on the board just by writing it and things like that. That'll, that'll be interesting. See how well that goes. All right. Okay. So we're going to spend the next five minutes just for you to scroll through your phone, brainstorm, maybe do some internet searches like, um, like Heather said. I'll show you some of my examples that I'm gonna use tonight. I have, um, I really, really love to travel and mostly I only travel for work. So I really wanna travel more with my kids and my family. So I just, I just like went on the internet. I love anything tropical, right? Oh, I wish I had a back that looked like that once again. You know what I mean? Like that would be good. So this is kind of like a twofer for me. Um, but beaches, tropical stuff. Like I just printed off a couple things that I found on the internet. You can do a quick search, even if you're on your phone, do a screenshot, a screenshot of some stuff. Um, for me, you all are a huge part of my life and I want to be like a more, more involved. So I printed three of my favorite pictures, one from summit, um, one from a fit club that we did recently. And then another one from a fit club quite a few years ago, just because I, I really like the way I look in this picture mostly, <laughs> but I, I like all these. So I was like this, this to me represents community and team. And I honestly have more pictures of my team other than I have one picture of my family, <laughs> but I, I, these are, these are, you guys are so incredibly important to me. So this is like business and family and friends and community and so much of what I'm striving for in 2020 is to create more moments like this. You know, the treats that we, that we have coming up, et cetera. Um, I printed off some healthy food because I, I need to get my diet more in check. So just things like that. So I want you to spend, I'm going to set an alarm. I want you to spend five minutes just brainstorming, um, looking at pictures, maybe some really great pictures that you want to include on your vision board and, you know, things like that. And I would love if anybody else has suggestions during this brainstorm time, um, I would love for you to kind of, you know, jump in and provide your, your advice and all that stuff. I just found my very first one I did. It was my virtual one from 2013. Can you share it? it on, Are you able to share right now or not? I'm going to, yeah. And it's when I wanted to get the, um, combat was out and it was my very first year in beach body so i did a for <gasps> one. Oh my gosh cloud if you could do a screen share of that we would love to see it i'm gonna post it under the vision board party thing okay okay perfect thank you yes that's great but yeah use five minutes i'm gonna do some more brainstorming too because there's more stuff that i want to get on here Thank you. 
two more minutes. Anybody want to have an aha moment or want to share uh, kind of what your goal is for 2020 before we start creating here? All right. So if you if you are ready to rock. And by the way, Heather, I mean, you're the one that's, you've done this before. So as much as you want to chime in, the better. But I think we just start going. Is everybody doing this with us or are you doing it virtually? I know so that a couple of people are driving. Are you still searching, brainstorming? Any more time? All right. Two. Let's see. Okay, I did buy some of these. We're gonna get going. How are you doing, Kim? Are you doing this on your computer or are you brainstorming? I'm just curious. To be honest, I wish I knew how to do it on the computer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, um, no, I, I'm just kind of brainstorming Im images and um, um, I'll be really honest. It's really, like I was just going through my phone and that was probably not a good idea for me. Um, yeah. Even, yeah. So I'm now I'm looking at Google images to use instead of real images. But um one thing that I just that I get like an aha thing. Uh, one thing I would love to do, kind of like um, that show, Below Deck. Like I would love to be able to take a yacht and sit in the middle of a beautiful cove and enjoy it. Nice. I, I never had that. Like like oh that I would really like that. So um, my daughter's laughing at me now. I love it. No, that's great. All right. Well. <laughs> Let's get let's get moving and I'm just going to start putting stuff up on my board and you guys can judge my creativity. Okay, okay so if you're doing it virtually though, if you're doing it on the computer, like yeah. are you guys using like Canva or you do, like if it was me, I'd probably just stick images on a Word document. Like I don't know how to do it. That's what I would do too, Kim. So I'm not the person <laughs> asked for that. <laughs> I just went to Canva and I'm using a blank page and I'm going and cutting pictures of things I like and phrases and just putting them on there like I normally would. Oh God, I just got to learn Canva, I think. It's just, I can't go very fast, so I might get five on here. <laughs> That's awesome. I did some of this, you know, ahead of time because I didn't want to look like a total, you know, like I was fl floundering too much in front of y'all. So. Okay. I'm putting, I'm putting my numbers on. This is how, this is how I went to Target and I bought these letters and numbers. But they're only sticky on one end, so I get to do the other side. Like a post-it almost. <laughs> you guys, this year is going to be big. 
by the way. I, my kids are older. <laughs> I just have really big aspirations for the team for this year. I feel like we have better engagement than we've had in like a really long time. I think the retreats are going to be huge. I have an interest form going out very soon about that, by the way, guys. So if you are, if, uh, if marketing impact Academy and or, um, retreat is kind of on your radar, make sure that you fill out the interest form. Cause I would love to have you guys be my guests for those things. But I think those are going to be really big. Um, we have a local fit club that's been really rocking. Okay, here goes my vision, y'all. Let's see. It has to be first. Oh, you know what I didn't put on here? Singing. I need to start singing again. That would be my pure joy. Gotta write that down. I saw your hot air balloon, Nadia. Was it the best? It was very peaceful. Oh, that's so cool. I recommend it to anybody if you guys like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I used to be a daredevil before I had kids. I've been skydiving. Yeah. You did that too. You went skydiving. Yeah, that was for my dirty 30. <laughs> oh, you're so little. You're so young. You're not little. Well, you are a little too. You're, little. <laughs> you're so young. <laughs> Oh, to be 30. I'm glad I'm not, though. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not. Okay. I think one of the best things is to have vision. And I think that, I know for myself, I struggle with this on the day-to-day -day sometimes, right? Cause we get stuck in like the, the qualifications and the, you know, the sales and the points and we lose track of vision sometimes. I know I do, you know, and to have something that you can really gravitate towards and grab onto really helps. So. Well, I like because it forced me to do it. Otherwise, it would never have even put in much thought to it. No, you know what? And it's so it's so incredibly important. I wrote, like I said, I've said this a bunch of times, but I really feel like we are on the brink of something huge as a team, especially since we have all the unity with um, platinum presenters right now. Like we just have a lot of unity right now on our team, and it is really powerful. Well, to be honest, I feel. I feel energy like, like coming out of me that I just don't have time to like focus. You know what I mean? But I do, I, I have so much like I want to do in the next year. So we have to hone it. Cause that, that is my, that is my struggle. I'm always like, I have a thousand things to do. Okay. But what do I start with? And what do I do next? And what do I, you know what I mean? But something, an exercise like this does help, you know, cause we can, we can look and we can start to, to focus it's going to help us focus so i'm excited about that i got it who's who's going to do bar blend is everybody doing bar blend yeah i am okay okay good hey nadia you need to come and actually teach a pio class at our fit club one of these days too look at my face are you ready to teach 
<laughs> You're amazing. That's great. You know how you do it? You just do it. Yeah. Like Nike? Huh? Like Nike? Yep, just do yeah. it. <laughs> I've been listening to the music more often so that I can yeah. hear the stupid downbeat. <laughs> Good. Well, the good thing with Pio is, I mean, you really don't have to be on the beat. You, I mean, it's nice to be on the beat, but you don't have to be, you know? That's true. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my first, you guys, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but my first um, three months of teaching Turbo Kick, because of course that was the first format I taught, of course, because um, like one of the hardest. But my first three months I taught at a college and nobody knew because they'd never done Turbo Kick before. So they had no idea how terrible I was. And I was terrible. And um, I literally did like jab and jack for 10 minutes straight. Cause I couldn't think of the next thing. And I, I like, I would look at my notes and it was like Chinese. It was like reading a different language. I'm like, cause I was so stressed. Seriously, I was so bad. Okay. I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna start putting some words of inspiration on here. Look at that. Okay, I think I'm gonna literally go to the whole magazine tear out picture thing because I can't figure out how to do any of this on computer. Okay, so what I did, I post actually posted a link him in um in the vision board party. Honestly, I went I went like free downloadable images. And that's where I went and I found I landed on a site. So I I, I shared the site and then I was like People are going to think that I'm so lame for sharing this website of free downloadable images. Everybody knows how to do this. But, <laughs> but if you go there, it, I literally, I just typed in, or I didn't even type in, it had like categories and it said like vacation or travel or something. And I clicked on that. Well, like I, just, just now I went to go print out an image, but I'm printing out an eight and a half by 11 and I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It could be a vision book. <laughs> just make a book. <sighs> okay, I have to put my healthy food on here, or maybe not. I think I might just write something on it. Okay, all right, let's see. So, very, so have a very, a very large the girl room. sitting on a beach. <laughs> there you go. The girl sitting on a beach. That's perfect. Yours was so good, Sherry. I wish we could see yours right now. Oh, Sherry says she went to Google search leadership and then she saved it and she did the same for a Disney picture. Then she um, put them all on a page and printed it off and cut them out. How per, yeah, okay, she'll show us in a second. Awesome, yes, please do, please do. Okay, now I'm gonna get creative and I'm gonna start writing and drawing people. How are you guys doing over there? Race into this, man. I wish I, wish I could get Keith to do something like this with me. <laughs> I love it. I'm hoping this year you guys will see more of Keith too. He, he, before uh, we've been leaving the kids with him at home, he was always at everything. All right. So I want to start singing again. Okay. So if you guys want to see my. Yeah. My board. Yeah. Show us how. Right. Can you can you share your screen? I don't know. I'm on share content, maybe screen. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm on my phone, so it's not like I can. I don't know. Here, let's just see if this works. <laughs> it's, up on, it's up on my wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah. So it's a cork board. Yep, I did a cork board. That way I can add and remove things easily. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I did like my progression through the ranks that I want to go to leadership, a family Disney trip. This is to pay off my husband's student loans. Um, and then I'm just slowly adding to it but I figured that's easier for me. And I literally just Googled and I was like, leadership. And I scrolled through, right click, saved the image and printed it. I was like, I, I don't have time for this. So <laughs> I was like, I tried to do it as fast as possible. Um, I did a lot of it from my phone when I was out and about like in carpool lane. 
I just saved them down um, on the cloud and then printed them when I got home. That's great. Cool, Sherry. And Nadia had a question. Do you have to enter your CC or bypass that? What is that? Is that for Canva, Nadia? Okay, I don't know. I don't do Canva. Do you have to enter your credit card for Canva? I'm doing the free one. It's all free unless you want to buy specific like backgrounds and stuff. Cool. Good question. Images. Is it an app? Um, there is an app on your phone that you can download that's free, but I normally use the desktop version because I find it easier to navigate. But that's where a lot of people will like um, create their posts, their social media posts and their stories because it has templates in there for that. Are you kiddo? Is that you? You finally got home? Yeah. Okay, there, I put it on the vision board, singing. I have to do it. <laughs> My music notes. If it's on the board, it has to happen. <laughs> Great, what do they want? I don't know how to spell that. Yeah. I better Google this. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So I'm reading this book called The Three Word Revolution. And she talks about, Christine gave it to me at a summit. She talks about like, the three word revolution, I'm pretty sure. About like, if you could summarize your message, like what you want, like what you want to bring to the word, world in three words, what would that be? My words were created for greatness and something like I'm always fighting against, I believe is like against mediocrity. Like there's so many people who just settle, you know? And I'm always like, no, like say no to mediocrity. So that's what my, my uh, this sign over here is for, to remind me that to push against mediocre, to push against just being okay. I, I, I don't think that people were just made to, live a life without being amazing because we were i believe we we're all created to do amazing things every single one of us and i feel like it's part of my purpose to help people see their greatness So I've done a couple of vision boards before, and uh, when I was doing them before, we were taught at the end to, like, you hold on to them, and then, like, after, within the week, you either burn them or you, <laughs> so no, so that it goes out into the atmosphere, everything that you want, and then, I don't know, I kind of forget now, it's been a few years, but yeah, so you, you that's, that's their way of putting it, like, out into the world or whatever to happen. I love it. So I don't have any of mine. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't burn mine. I feel no. like we worked on this. <laughs> in fact, I almost, I almost feel like I didn't in mine somewhere around here, but I don't know where it is. That's awesome though. I love it. Any, anyone else? Do anybody want to share? I'm going to put this one on here. I really do. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it. How are we doing so far? I won't keep you guys too terribly long. A lot of this, I think it will be a work in progress. I'm gonna put some of my beach body goals up on there because I mean, that is the primary reason why I'm doing this. You know, I feel like just scratch the surface on what I could do in terms of the business. Um, so I'm gonna write those out in just a moment. I've got lots of pictures. Now I can't figure out where I saved them all. <laughs> <sighs> that sounds like something I would do, Cloud. <laughs> hmm. I would. I play. I would play music too, but uh, they they'll like if I upload this to YouTube, the recording later they often will like shut it down if there's music that they recognize. Cause I know that would be much more fun to do this to like some music or like have a glass of wine, but 
as long as you feel like you're getting somewhere. You can't drink alcohol? Is that what you were just saying? <laughs> no, I can. Oh, <laughs> I, said, no, I, meant like, I, I meant like we're in the recording or something. We're not allowed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they shut me down because I was drinking wine. No, I'm just kidding. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> no, they just shut it down if there's music. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no. Can I tell you guys something? Please do. First of all, I'm at Walmart. Like, <laughs> I've been miserable lately. I have a man cold now, but uh, just hearing little things through the last, I don't know how long we've been on, 40 minutes, like things like hearing about a yacht in a cove and <laughs> Kim's daughter laughing at her and hearing things about a hot air balloon and hearing things Holly's talking about about like a retreat and Nadia teaching Pio at a fit club. These are things that um, I have been disconnected from the last couple months. So just know that I'm listening and you're affecting me in a positive way. So even though I'm a wreck, nasal drainage, all kind of junk going on. Thank you for hosting this call and just talking about things that this is like where I want to be in my mindset. You know what I mean? That's Have you awesome. ever tried drinking Shakeology? It supports the immune system. <laughs> I'm, I'm, double, I'm doubling up every day. <laughs> okay. so I hope it's breaking. It's, it seems to be draining now, but I don't, I don't need to tell you about that gross stuff. <laughs> Let's stay on the positive things. So my vision is for clear sinuses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Scott. It's always so good yeah. to see you too. You bring a, like a whole nother energy when, you, when you're around. So we always appreciate you. Well. well, I'm good at faking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm still here listening. Keep awesome. going, guys. Awesome. I want to see Heather's because she looks like she's really good at this. And I still want to add, like, there's a couple more things I want to add. I want to add my teeth, like my personal beach body goals to mine, but I just don't know where I want to put them yet. I think I'm just going to put them. I don't know. I need to figure it out, though. I out. just remembered one more thing, Holly. Yes. That first thing I was driving, the first thing you started with, with the um, rate your rate everything from one to ten. Mm -hmm. That really made me think about a lot of things. So thank you for that. I hope the recording comes through so I can like rewatch that when I can sit down with a piece of paper. Awesome. Good, one. Yeah. good. Oh my gosh, good. That's the kind of where I, I start, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm thinking about goals, I'm like, okay, well, you have to take a, a, a good evaluation of where you're, where you need to improve, you know? And my husband's really funny. Every time he sets a goal, it always has to do with a physical challenge. And I brought that to his attention the other day. <laughs> and he was kind of like, what are you trying to say? You know, but it was really, it was just, it was just funny. I'm like, well, because he's always like, I, I'm going to make a goal of, uh, his goal right now is to learn how to jump rope really good. And so like goals before that were like push-ups or sit-ups or, you know, it's always physical. I'm like, well, why don't you like set a, a goal for like, I don't know, reading this book or like <laughs> something for our business. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I never thought about that. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, okay, but I should probably be making more physical goals and, <laughs> and less business goals. So there you go. Balance, right? Balance. It's all about balance. I don't know where I want to put my food in here. I'm going to put it here because I do need to make my health. I need to eat well, here. I left Canva and I went over to Pick Monkey and I'm just putting them on a plain uh, Facebook post <laughs> size. There you go. <laughs> Now figure out how to do it the other way. All right, now I'm gonna write my specific goals. I'm gonna tell you them as I write them because they're freaking scary. So I'm gonna tell you them anyways. That's why. I'm, that's why I need to tell you what my specific goals are because they're scary. And the first one is I want five more diamonds this year in 2020. Five. I had three. 
in mind, but I was like, I need to put five on that board. So I'm going to put five diamonds. First, I'm going to write 10 star right here. While we're talking diamonds, I got to help Kyle get to diamond this year. That's going on my, that's going on my. <laughs> yeah. Five years old, we're going to get there. Hey, I love it. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters <laughs> is that you just stay consistent. You know what I mean? That's what matters. There's lots of people, even on my team, who like got there really fast and then immediately fell. So what matters is that you're consistent. Okay, let's see. So I want to break five new diamonds. And I want two new uh, star diamonds. I should stretch that because I think two is going to happen pretty easy. Three. I'll say three. Mm -hmm. well, you, have, you have three on here that better be star diamonds. What is that, yogurt? Yeah, I was just going to tell you, Kim. So I've been doing this plain almond milk yogurt, like no flavor. But then I add like a third of a scoop of Shakeology to it and mix it up so that the Shakeology gives it the flavor. Is that acceptable? Yes, acceptable. Thanks. Nice. That's good. It's like and a mousse. mousse. It's like a mousse then. Make it like a dessert. Yes, absolutely. That's, I think I should give Cloud credit because she's the one that first started doing that. Yeah, um, I think, I think Alana calls it a whip. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do it, like I'll cut I'll cut up an apple and put some yogurt. I don't usually put Shakeology in there, but then I'll put like um some little bit of jelly even to kind of give it some flavor. Some of the walnuts and I gotta make my Shakeology balls take to work tomorrow though. That's what I gotta do tonight. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know the difference between spring water? Look at these gallon jugs. So if I was going to drink it, should I get purified drinking water, spring water? I mean, I know distilled water is what we do on the reset, but I know distilled isn't what we should drink normally. Anybody have any idea if, if you were going to pick one or the other spring My water? My on versus? Nadia. Nadia knows. <laughs> Does Filtered she know, really? alkaline. Okay. Filtered alkaline water. Gotcha. But, um, I hear you. A lot of the alkaline water that we are sold in the stores, once we get home and test it, a lot of times it's not the pH that it says on the bottle. Oh, man. So I like to drink that water from the store when I have to. But if I have a choice, I just go to the water store. Do you have a water store? This is Pittsburgh, Nadia. No. <laughs> he probably has a beer store, though. <laughs> That's correct. Ask them where they get their water. <laughs> <laughs> or like sparklets delivery. The sparklets deliver alkaline? I think a lot of the delivery companies are now delivering alkaline water. Huh. I should look into delivered water because I'm constantly buying bottled water and I, I know the bottles aren't good for the environment. Like I have 72 bottles of Aquafina down there in my cart right now and I can't drink my tap water. I get a notice every month or two that says your tap water is contaminated. Do not drink it. So, Ooh, yeah, don't drink yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, or you could get like a rainwater catcher. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I told you. I'd be, I'd be a real farmer then. Jeez. You All live right. in the perfect area, Scott. I'm so jealous of your house. Yeah. Because of the rain? Well, I'll gladly you're like, trade you. You want to trade houses? You can have it. <laughs> you're not right up against your neighbor's house. How do you know? Because you showed a video, remember? Oh, oh when I had a party. Of your parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I feel like I'm hijacking the vision board call here. She's a stalker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, another vision I have is to move to San Diego, and then I can come to every super weekend what? in LA. Yes! Yeah. No do way. It. Do it, do it. We're, we're so much cooler out here on the West Coast. Yeah. I, I wish I could give you my Walmart shopping list and have you drop it off on your way home. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I move to California, I can. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they do have a water store. That's right. I'll take you saying. to my water store. <laughs> Deal. Okay, I live in California and I was like, a water store? What the heck is a water store? I'm like, where is a water store? That's what I thought. Maybe because I live in the ghetto. I don't know. <laughs> the water store the water stores in the ghetto sell like like scratchers and money orders and baby diapers <laughs> hey i come from the ghetto so it's all good man <laughs> but um, the the man at my water store he like treats his water with love and you can taste it <laughs> you are so cute i love him <laughs> i like supporting small businesses in the ghetto it makes me feel good yeah it's amazing. I love that Holly says she lived in the ghetto and that's where she used to live in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, I lived in, okay, I lived in Bellflower. We were on Cops. That's amazing. <laughs> Which is like a mile from here. <laughs> I know, but we lived on Eucalyptus. Are you familiar with Eucalyptus Street? Yeah, I think I know where it is. The other side of the 91, right? Yeah, it's not good. No, we were, we were literally Cops in Bellflower on Eucalyptus Street. That was the beginning of the Cops episode that I was like, we're famous! Bad boys, bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, cool. Well, I don't want to keep everybody all night long. Let me check the time. Oh, yeah, we got to we gotta wrap up. Because I would love to see some examples, some stuff. Heather, are you guys done? Can we see? I have one more question. One oh, more question. Scott, go. Scott, go. Cashew or almond? Both. All oh. right, deal. Oh. Okay, go ahead, Holly. That's Cashew's my last question. so much more exciting. I think I'm gonna <laughs> try that. Um, okay, so Heather, show us, show us your board, and then I'll show you guys mine, and you can show me yours some more if you want. Or, okay, here, let me, let me pin your video so we can see it big. Yep, let me get closer. So we started coloring, that's what happened up top. Yay! And then um, Ray asked me to print the cross, the truck, and the picture of us. So I'm gonna let him talk about those. So the, the cross is just pouring more of myself into my, my purpose in life. And the truck is kind of like just, you know, a guy thing, I, I want a truck. But I'm, if I can put everything in this, everything that comes with this, and even things from 2018 will all just fall into place, you know? So. I'm not trying to, I, I am trying to make it simple, but I wasn't trying to, to make it that simple, but there's not much for me to say. I mean, having a goal and, and reaching it and then knowing what helps you reach your goal besides the team is, is something that is very, very heartfelt for, to me. So, you know, this and everything else will follow. COVID. Love it. Okay, and then for me, I printed off the closet, the calendar, and community. So the whole closet, I do want this closet system, but for me what it represents is organization, like in my whole house. And then the calendar, I, you know, I want freedom, but everybody's like money freedom, but no, it's freedom to make my own calendar, freedom to make my own schedule, freedom to decide what I want to do on Tuesday versus my boss telling me I have to be at work or at a meeting on Tuesday. And then community, 
I have been wanting to build a community beach body for like freaking since 2014. And just so many things have happened in my life since 2014. And I never felt like I was a strong enough leader because my life was chaos. And so this is going to be the year. And I even wrote my BHAG, which is my big, hairy, audacious goal, which is something so big and so scary, it terrifies you to think about it. And I texted Kim, I was like, yeah, my, my goal is to make $20,000 with Beachbody and lose 20 pounds. But really what I had written down, I was just scared to tell her, my goal is to make $50,000 and lose 50 pounds. So that's what I put on my board. Yes, good. That's amazing. And you can, like, the thing is, like, you can do it. Like, that's, that's the thing, you know? Right. Yeah, it's totally possible. And so behind the scenes, there's going to be um, a goal sheet and task list and how to achieve all these. Good. Yeah, because the, the thing is for it to not to die here. You know what I right. mean? Yeah. Does anybody else want to share? I know a lot of you are just doing a collection here. That's so good. All right, I'm gonna give you, I'll show you guys mine uh, real quick and then I'll let you go for the evening and you can, but I, but, but, oh man, my stars dripped. I have to get some, hold on a second. I'll show you in a second. Um, but if you did work on it, then definitely, 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 you know, make sure that you post it in the event. So I, I use this glitter glue to make these cute little stars and then they dripped, but that's okay. So let me just clean it up before I show you. My, my kids glitter glue, I was like, oh yeah, that'll totally stay. No, I didn't, that's okay though. No big deal. All right, so let me show you mine really quick. Um, so 2020 in the middle, obviously. So these are like my big things. And actually I was like, man, I should have put this in the middle. You know what I mean? Because like Ray was saying, um, you know, I, I, I am a natural like, accelerator and I I don't seek the I don't seek guidance from God before I go so I need to do that so I might I might move this um, so I, I need to do that but I have lots of pictures or two pictures of the team the other one didn't make it on that's okay we just ran out of room um, my family of course date nights that's something that we don't do just we just are always, we work together, we spend a lot of time together, but then like we don't have time, we don't like take time just to like have fun. I already showed you my pictures. Um, my my three word, rebellion created for greatness. I believe I wanted, that's what I wanna do. Show everybody that they're created for greatness. I wanna sing again. Like that's something that's, you know, was such a huge part of my life and my soul. And um, it's been on the back burner, honestly, since I went broke. So 2006, so I, I haven't been singing since then. I need to get myself back on track with my nutrition. I don't think that anyone Holly, is mediocre, yeah. Are you going to Punta Cana? I am not. Okay, I was gonna say we'll do karaoke. I, I know, go. trust me, I want to. So no, it's a, it's a very long story and honestly, it's a sad, it's like a, mm, I'm gonna make a post about it, but I'm not, but I'll just say that I'm not. It's, and, it was not an easy decision, um, but we've got the travel on here, and then here's my word, freedom, right? So I brought my puzzle piece, my puzzle piece, freedom. You guys, I got these in the mail, um, uh, Amazon, and I sent one to all my team members, and I was like, I want to know what your word is. Like, what is, what's the reason that you're doing this business? And to me, that, that's it. That's it, freedom. Like, it, this business gives me freedom, and so that's my... That's my drippy sign now. I've got, I've got to fix my stars before I go back in. Oh, five new diamonds, three new star diamonds. I want to hit 10 star on my first CBC. That's a big one for me. And it's hard because a lot, I, I, yeah, a lot of my builders are on my other business centers. So that's it. Those are my, those are my goals for everything. Anybody else want to share? Let me, let me unpin my video. Anybody else want to share their their goals, the stories. I want to hear from everybody. I can, I can share, but you're yes. gonna, so all I did, I just write on my board. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I've done the whole glue thing. This is this is just easy. So it's like kind of like just like my thoughts on paper. But um, 
Uh, so one of my personal goals is just to sit comfortably on a beach alone with my toes in the sand. Um, and I wrote, my word is happiness. That's what I wrote on my puzzle piece. I actually have, I don't know where it is. I have a rock with the word happiness on it that I just recently got a few months ago too, just out of coincidence. Um, family is on here. I want um, love, respect, time together, growth, stability, health, making memories, fun and laughter. Um, money, no worries. Um, I also want to learn more about money and teaching. I want, and I, I put coaching in there because I want most of my income to come from the coaching. Um, I want, I want to do investments. Um, my purpose, like, like Holly said, I truly believe that I just, this, just in the last, literally like in the last month, I've really realized like my purpose is to lead people to be the best they can be. It may not be that I have the, you know, I have what they need, but I, I do feel like I can lead people towards where they need they need to go um, and community um, my own time I really need to spend more time just focused on me and my thoughts which I rarely rarely do um, and then business I have this big thing here and I wrote down trips I wrote down platinum edge which I don't know are we having that I thought it was supposed to happen in February <laughs> maybe not okay yeah. <laughs> marketing impact Academy summit I want to take two coaches with me to summit um, I want to qualify for the new leadership retreat I wanted to go to the team retreat um, I want to have be two star by the end of the year and um, I want to complete programs all year long and I'm going to start with the ultimate reset on January 6th. Um, my house, I want to clean and purge. I want it organized. I want it welcoming and I want to um, socialize and entertain more. Oh, and then my trips. I want to go to Havasu, Hawaii, do some girls getaway. I've never been on a girls getaway. Oh, um, let's go. Where do you want to go? I'll go <laughs> like, I really like Platinum Edge was my girls getaway. Um, yeah. color I want to go to Colorado and I want to go to New York in December next year. So, I've never been to New York and I've always wanted to go in December. Oh my God. I'm not kidding you. I was there last week and she, she's a photographer too, but I, I, every night it was like, I was waiting for my, my Netflix show. Every night I was watching her stories then just watching everything and just, it was so pretty. And I was like, okay, that's where I'm going. Oh, that sounds so cool. Awesome. So maybe there, you and I can have date nights. There you go. We can. I know. But I, know. I can babysit so you guys can go out. <laughs> you don't know what you're asking. <laughs> All right. Anybody else want to share before we hop off? Work in project. Or work in progress. Work in project. Good. Post, post it, man. We, uh, you know, it's good to see everybody's everything. Nadia, did you want to share anything before we jumped mm -hmm. off? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. I just posted it in the party um, page. Oh, yay. Okay, good. You posted but, your, your thing? Yeah, but um, I guess I could share what I wrote. Definitely, yeah, sure. She wrote, okay. can't wait to watch you sing at Cats Meow Karaoke in New Orleans on Bourbon Street. New York and is really cool as the Chicago. <laughs> we should go to karaoke in New Orleans. Oh, <laughs> goal. Sure. yeah, there you go. There I you would go. need a lot of alcohol to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so mine's really short. Um, I just added minimalism as one of my goals, and I want to kind of extend that out to different areas of my life because <laughs> I seem to like at school at my kids school I always raise my hand and volunteer for things that I need to stop volunteering for um, oh yeah no I, I like it I am tr I try to be the suckiest parent out there like <laughs> yeah to volunteer for anything and I'm like oh no no yes yes so, yeah. I'm sorry but no <laughs> um and also just like my home too and we're actually looking into tiny living so mm -hmm. that's probably something that's going to be happening uh next year um so i will be forced into mis minimalism <laughs> um also my budget i just want to make sure that i stick to what i plan for with my budget 
And um, I've been using my Facebook stories and my Instagram stories to hold me accountable for my fitness, for my workouts, and for my nutrition. Um, but I've been slacking on the nutrition. So I'm looking at this app that I talked about in um, the little uh, talk that I did on the wellness page. Mm -hmm. And I want to see if I can get other people to join me in using this app as an accountability tool so that we can hold each other accountable. Um, and then meal prepping, I want to do salads in a jar again, because I used to do them a lot when I was teaching, um, because they were the fastest thing I could grab and go with, especially when you're teaching, you don't have time. Um, but when I stopped doing that, I noticed that like I got acne again, and I started getting like bloated, and it just, it wasn't good. So I want to start doing that again. Um, and I also put meal planning that kind of goes along with the prepping and just working the beach body business. That's all I have. Yay. Good stuff. All right. So I will go ahead and wrap. It has been an hour. I don't want to take any more of your time tonight. You guys, thank you so much. And if you're on, if you're watching the recording, we expect to see your vision boards too. So Make sure that you guys post a picture up and it's always, always great to see your smiley faces. So hope you feel better. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Feel better, Scott. <laughs> feel better, Scott. Take care, everybody.